I'm here today with legendary golfer, avid sportsman, Greg Norman. Greg, how you doing, buddy? Pleasure to have you out here, man. Good All the way from Australia. <laughs> well, I've lived here in this area, Jupiter area, for a, a long time. So, yeah. But you know, this area is fantastic for whatever type of fishing you want to do. And then today, well, you're the shark, right? Yeah. Well, today we're going to sharks. Yeah, we'll target a few sharks today. I think it'll be a lot of fun, and uh, caught a, caught quite a few from uh, great whites to oceanic white tips to tigers to lots bulls. of stories to tell. Lots of stories to tell. All right, we got some great shark stories. We're going to go on this 43 Everglades with Sundance Marine. Let's go. Greg, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put this drone up. It's like the new sonar. Oh, yeah. I use it. And oh, yeah. I put it up 400 feet. And we're gonna go and find the sharks. There you go. Which way are we going? Some people call it cheating. North or south? We're gonna go south. Oh, well, I used to do that in my helicopter when we were spotting for um, along the beach here. So I, I'd go up my helicopter, call down to my boat. Okay, they're over here. And after a period of time, everybody got to know. There's Norman over there. There's your sports fishing boat. Let's go follow him. Yeah. <laughs> That's what, Dude. It's a lot cheaper with the drone. Let me it is. It, it's, it, it does. It is. The helicopters are expensive. Here we go. Three, two. Greg, you want to see? Oh yeah. Isn't that nice? Yeah, that's cool. It's like having a bottom machine. Yeah. Put in the, it's like having your own person frig frig bird. <laughs> exactly. Just found about a hundred sharks that are literally like 50 feet away from the boat. We're gonna be super quiet. Want to throw some poppers? Why not? Let's go. Hurry up, man. Hey, man. Come on. Come on. I'm trying to tie you a knot here. <laughs> come on. I like it. I like it. The <laughs> locker room talk. <laughs> yep. See you him see on him? the beach. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. There you go, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, he's on me. Wait. Oh, he's on me! Oh, oh my gosh! He's on it! You see that? Yep. I see some really in tight. Here we go, ready? Bomb cast. Here we go. Hail Mary. He's on me, he's on me. Shark on. Oh, he's on! Oh my gosh. This is the spot. Right here. Chris, neutral, neutral. He's on me again, he's on me again, he's on me again. There's one on, there's one on, there's one on, real, 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 oh, oh. This is my all time favorite weather right now for throwing lures, you got overcast, we got a cold front coming in, lower, the lower the light the better. These sharks, when it's, when you get the high sun, they will not hit anything, but when you get like this, I mean, it's like early morning all day, and this is, this is why they're hitting lures, this is why they're falling on, this is like, perfect conditions. Perfect. Well, well, we had a few follows. We, we did, had, yeah. yeah. They, That's why they call it fishing, not catching. Yeah, yeah. So the yeah. poppers aren't working too good right now. We had a few, few guys try to eat it. Now we throw it within 15 feet of getting close to a shark. They spook. Lures put in a shadow. I think it was definitely a morning bite. That once that you notice how like once the sun came so out, they got this, really spooky. Yeah. But that overcast was really nice. Yeah, really good for it. Yep. So yep. I think now, guys, we're gonna switch off and try some cut bait. I'm gonna find the sharks again with the drone and they're cruising down the coast, so I'm gonna find us a spot where we can cut them off. Yep. We'll put a cut bait there on a balloon, yep. and they'll swim right into it and eat it. Okay. We should eat it. All right, Chris, they're right, I'm gonna get right on top of them, right? Hold on, you gonna see my drone? See my drone? Wire. All right, Chris, back us up, buddy. This is gonna be it, this is it. Here we go. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Come on. Come on. Show us what you got. And oh, 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 oh. He's gonna. He turned on it. Turned on it. Turned on it. What a bomb! Wow. Oh wait. No, no. He's. This one's getting excited. Oh, yeah. oh he hit it. He, did he eat it? No. He, he went after the balloon. He hit the balloon. Hold on. <laughs> Here he comes. This one's gonna eat it. I think he's got. He's got. He's got it. Greg, you got him. Close the bail. Yep. He eat it, he eat it, close the bail, real, real, real. See there? Real fast, real fast, real fast, real fast, 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 fast. Real fast, 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 fast
He's he's coming. He's charging. 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 He's He's gonna jump again, he's gonna jump again. Woo! That was so strange, was, Greg. Yeah, well, he he ate the bait and he swam kept, right towards the boat. straight at us, yep. You know, a lot of people, they, like they think, ah, shark fishing, whatever, but like, dude, these are just as good as any sales oh, yeah, tomorrow, and they sure, put on yeah. a great show for you. An incredible sport fish. I was actually nervous when the sh I saw the sharks going toward us. I was like, oh, he's going to bite off the leader. He's going to eat the whole leader. We have no idea how he's hooked. I mean, that's very uncommon for them to swim like that. All right, there we go. Turned him. Come on, Come baby. On. Make sure it sure doesn't break you off the boat. Yeah, they, they try to do that. They're... Yep. Very good, bud. Keep ours. All right. First there shark of the day, fish. man. What do you think he is? Like 80 pounds? Yeah, I, was, I thought he was, was, was a little bigger than what I thought he was. He fought good. Yeah. He fought great. There he goes. All right, right. man. <laughs> shark <laughs> catches the shark. Amen to that, boys. Let's go get, get another one. Right? Get another one? Yeah, Already? You're not tired? No, we just warmed up. Two hours of practice, and now we got to go. Right, let's go. <laughs> Sure, keep it here neutral. Comes, here keep it neutral. Here, here, keep it, it neutral. Neutral. Uh, there he goes. There he goes. Get got it. it. Got Get it. it. Yep. There he goes. Shark on. Shark on. Woo! There he's jumping. He's jumping. Oh, it's a big one. It's giant. Whoa! Oh my gosh! Look at that half spool. He's got that, that more drag. Love that sound. Keep going. He's charging. He's charging. Neutral. 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 Keep going. Keep going. I think, I think it's gone. Yeah. He's gone. Oh no. He was giving you a hard yeah, time he, there. He was, yeah. Look at that, dude. The bait looks like it's been barely touched. Yeah. We got one black tip. Greg hooked another one. That one got off. Got off. Dude, that was a that was a feisty fish though. It was, yeah. It just it's part of it though, you know. It's, 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 can't catch them all, right? Can't catch them all. You don't want to catch them all anyway. No? No, because you learn by your mistakes better. So next time. I like that. I actually remember the fish I lost more than the fish I caught. Of course you do, yeah. Do you? Yeah, absolutely. I've, I lost some big fish in my <laughs> I believe big it. Fish. <laughs> well, yeah. speaking of big fish, you want to go try to get a big hammerhead? Let's go after a hammerhead. I love that idea. I haven't, I've never caught a hammerhead, believe it Are or not. Are you serious? No, no. Hammerhead Done? time. Okay. Want a hammerhead? Oh my gosh. 25% of their bodies are tail, and they use every inch of it. Today we're fishing on the 43.5 Everglades. This is the largest center console they make. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, this boat rides unbelievable. It's actually, I'm actually kind of glad the wind's picking up. And I don't normally get glad about that because I get seasick, but the wind's picking up so I know when we get back to the dock, it's actually gonna be a pretty smooth ride. And this boat also has a built-in gyro. And even Greg himself, look at that right there. He's loving it. We've got some great casting off the front of the boat, great platform to fish on, and it's also a great boat for the family. And we've got this boat from Sundance Marine. So if you guys want to check out Everglades Boats and Sundance Marine, click the links in the description. Check them out. It's story time, Greg. Greg's lived an amazing life. He's caught some unbelievable fish and had some just awesome fishing experiences. You yes, mind sir. sharing one with us? Uh, yes, actually, yeah, I don't mind sharing one. I built a 228-foot expedition yacht. I wanted, wow. I wanted to go around a circumnavigate Australia with a sport fishing boat. Yeah. And that was my dream. So I built this massive, stupid, big boat, right? And, uh, <laughs> it sounds but, pretty epic. Yeah, it was an epic journey, and that was in its own right. But probably the most epic trip I ever did on it was I spent about 
six weeks, seven weeks in the Tuamatu Archipelagos. Now, if you know where Tahiti is, yeah, yeah, South Pacific, epic fishing there, epic, right? But you go southeast of along Tahiti, that ridge, right, along the Tuamatu Archipelagos, yeah. go down to the very bottom. It's the, the most you, isolated post office in the world. Really, post yep. office? Post office, yeah. It's really, got, yeah, it's got a tiny little village there. But anyway, we're rank, we're ranking up inside of giant atoll, and I was fishing offshore and I have a 43 foot game fishing boat on the yeah. back of it. So we were off fishing. We were chasing tuna, then chasing marlin and stuff like that. So we're running home. I always ran my own boats, right? So we're running home and I see this giant pod of melon whales, right? Really? I mean, it must have been two or three acres thick. No. It's very soon to God. So I said to my, yelled down to my son, I said, Greg, get your gear on, blah, blah, blah. And the, the camera guy said, get your camera, get, we're gonna run up in front of it, I'm gonna pull it out of gear, shut off the generator, and let the whales come up around us. So I did that, get up ahead, yeah. right, everybody's geared up, I run down, put my snorkel and fins on, four or five of us jump in the water, right? Uh -huh. As soon as we get in the water, the whales are over, but there's two big oceanic white tips swimming. How big? Um, I would say Ten anyway. Foot? maybe north of that. Wow. So um, all of a sudden, we, they're obviously waiting for the, for the baby whales to get weak, right? Yeah, to go yeah, and yeah. feast on them, right? So we're in there, we're filming, filming, looking, looking, looking. Next minute, the big oceanic puts its pecs down and comes charging straight Ooh. at us, right? And those are pretty gnarly sharks. Yeah, gnarly sharks, right? Yeah. And I, I don't like them. But anyway, we're all starting to reel now, right? So we're backpedaling. And I told my daughter was about ready to jump in. I said, don't jump in, don't jump in. Stay yeah. there, stay there. So we get back and my son gets in first, somebody else gets in and the photographer is backpedaling like this, kicking like a mother, 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 holding the camera like this. Yeah, yeah. Whoop, comes in and just takes a chomp on his camera. Right? Oh my gosh. So we grab him, I'm already in the sports fish boat, we manhandle this guy up, everything just three of them just pick him up and threw him into the cockpit like yeah, that. Yeah. This oceanic just swimming around like this. So I was pissed. <laughs> so I said, boys, we're going back. I radioed the big boat. I said, get my 130s out, get my, my heavy tackle and my balloons out and give me the biggest piece of bait we got in a big piece of bonita or whatever, yeah, yeah. or grouper or whatever we shot. So go back in, run in, pick up my gear, run back out and we find the melon whales again, right? Yeah. Now this is getting later in the day. So, same thing, I ran up ahead, pulled everything out of gear, prepped up, put the balloon out there, dropped it down about 20, 24 feet. Yeah. And pow, wouldn't you know it, within minutes, yeah, yeah. we had this big sucker on, right? And we are fighting this big old ocean. Did you fight hard? I never caught one before. Um, not on a 130. No. You know, we, you know, we've now got the sports fish boat operating, we're backing down on You're ready to start crushing. So, that was, an epic experience on an oceanic white tip. Did you guys uh, catch it? Yeah, we caught it and we released it. Yeah. Uh, we, we don't, uh, we re release the fish and um, that was... Uh, never know what's lying around. I mean, we see swordfish on the flats, you know, sometimes. I mean, not here, yeah. in the east side of the Bahamas, you know, it's so deep. That, that ledge is so deep right there. Yeah. Anything can come up from the depths. Anything can come up. Oh, look, somebody just died with a great white here the other day. Yeah. Right? I mean, that's, I think that's such a cool story. In 60 feet of water. In 60 feet of water. Uh, the, everything we have here in Florida is unbelievable. You can fish here every day of your life and find, and something find some. Different. Different. Yeah. yeah. We've been fishing for this hammer for the last three hours and no sight of them. No sight. No, it's, it's one of those um, really orgasmic moments where I spend time in the water with you. Yeah, you know, it's just it, like, it was electrifying. It's, it's just, electrifying. Just watching it's like the, the, the water, yeah. Cathodic in a lot of ways. You're chasing you know. a mythological fish that yes, never showed exactly. up. Yeah, but you know what? I had a good time. Yeah, well, it's not over yet. So have you ever no. caught a Goliath grouper? Negative on the Goliath grouper. So why don't we go do that? We got some giant baits, and they are giant fish. And, and they'll and just suck it down and do it. All I'm gonna say so you're is gonna have to, you're hold. Have to teach me. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Just hold on. It's gonna pull like something you never felt before. Do they? Do they? Uh, how do they? When they bite, do they turn their nose and go to the bottom? Yeah, they go they straight do? to the wreck and try to break you off. If you don't yeah. stop them, you're done. You're done. So you've what, you've got about 80 pounds of. 120. Dragon? 120 pounds of dragon. Yep. <laughs> Lock it up. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right. On a scale go. measured. Okay. Let's go. You nervous? No. Really? I've never been nervous in my life. All right. Excited. You're going to be nervous. excited, though. Okay. So. All right. We just took a, uh, you know what? I'm glad we're on this boat. Because yeah. if we were on any other boat, probably 50 knots. Been. We're, we're going 50 good. knots in this. Yeah. 
Yeah. White caps. That's impressive. Were you impressed? Yeah, very impressed, yeah. That's pretty yeah. impressive. And stay wet, stay dry the whole way. Three to five footers, stay dry. Now it's Goliath time. You've, you've used this before, right? Yes, I've used that before. All right, let's get you in here. And this is a, this is the bait about a, I don't know, 18 pound jack of all. Yeah. Ah. You ready? Reel it up a little bit. Oh, we just got hit. Yep. We just got hit. Yep. Oh my gosh. Yep. Is he eating it? He's eating it. No. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Ready? That was Goliath all day. Let's let him eat. Let him eat. Let him eat. Here we go. We tight. We tight. Ah, dude. No, oh, no. No. He's trying to break us off. Nope. Ready? Real, 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 real. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! No! Oh my god! Oh my gosh! He's trying to break us off! Oh. Hold on, everybody, hold on! Real, 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 real! Okay, real, 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 real! Oh, dude, that thing was so Oh! 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 <laughs> Real, real, real. Uh, reverse forward short, reverse forward short. He was at one point pulling all three of us guys. Like I was <laughs> holding on the boat for dear life. <laughs> I see him, Greg, I see him. He's giant, he's giant. Absolute giant. There he is! Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Was that tough? Yeah, the first one was. That first one was. We went three of us. <laughs> first one ever. First one ever. There we go. Hooked up. Got this. Let him. Okay. There he goes. There he goes. Oh my. Three of us to hold that thing. Dude, that that was strong, wasn't it? I thought I was gonna lose you over there. Dude, that was. That's as hard as it gets. Getting harder than that. I mean, I've never had anybody grab me by the keep me in one place before. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite an adventure there, right? It was actually. It's tough fishing. Yeah, it, was tough, it was a tough fishing day for sure, but you know that's why that's why I love it. You know, you know because at times you you can never really figure it out. I, don't, I mean, thousands of years through fishing, and no one's ever been like, you know no. what? On this day, at this exact time, we're gonna catch a fish can't do it. No, you can't. It's, it's unpredictable. You have the right tackle, you have the right bait, you have the right setup, you have the right, every, all the conditions seem right. Yeah. If they're not going to cooperate, they're not going to cooperate. But all in all, it was a fantastic day, right? Yeah. We got on a really good fight in the black tip. Yeah. And that was a lot of fun. We tried the hammerhead. It was boring as bad shit. Yeah, <laughs> it, it is. Okay. It's bad. It's, no, it was okay. Hey, that's, that, that's what that is, though. Whether you're catching giant sharks or marlin, you're going to... And, it... and then that first bite on my first glide. Right. How was that? I was like, I expected, but I didn't expect. It. You didn't but expect didn't, it to pull that hard? No, well, I didn't expect the constant hard pull, right? Yeah. Where it could, you could actually feel its tail just driving, driving, <laughs> driving to the bottom. You could feel the head going like this. It's like you hooked a car and it's yeah, driving to the exactly. bottom, right? So that one was good. So that's why I was yeah, really looking forward to actually hooking one and seeing what it was like. So. Uh, Awkward angle to fish with, you know, with yeah. the way the rod is. And, and, and yeah, the it's a little, it's, it's unconventional. Awkward. It's awkward, but I get it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You've got to use the leverage and put that butt down, but I love that one. Hey, I'm glad you had a lot of fun, Thanks, man. Yeah, really we got to fish good. more. We will. We got to, well, we got an agenda. Go he wants agenda. to take me to Australia. Yes. All over Australia. We're going to go to the Great Barrier Reef. We're going to go to Barramundi fishing. We're going to GT fishing. If you guys love the sound of that, make sure you go and give Greg a follow. <laughs> this guy's a fishing junkie his links are in the description also guys please check out everglades boats and sundance marine thanks for watching make sure you hit that like button subscribe and we'll see you next time tight, tight lines <laughs>